We had a Vara FM Windlinks or yeah, Windlink point to point session and it is running at a constant 25 to 10 bits per second. Look at that. Transferring a one megabyte file. And a Vara FM wide really rocks. It was the fastest at sending my little balance shootout JPEG, which was a 40 kilobyte JPEG. Vara wide sent it in 33 seconds. Best narrow was 39 seconds. Packet took 30 minutes. Let's see how, now this one is one megabyte. We'll see how long this one takes. Pretty amazing as far as that, and it's consistent too. Staying right there at uh, speed level 12, which I think is one, ooh, must be some noise causing a drop. Just drop down to speed, speed level. Oh, no, jump back up to speed level 13, 25 to 10. Look at that. That's the fastest speed, I believe. And if you double that, that's the sample rate. So you're not going to get any faster with 48 kilobit per second sample rate on a sound card. That's, that's as good as it gets in the digital transfer world with 48 kilobits per second sample rate kilohertz rather let's see <laughs> the wind link did give me a warning about trying to send a one megabyte file it's really interesting when you think about how quick the internet is now and how you can transfer massive amounts of data in such a short time. And you really see here what a technological marvel that is. Because what we're doing here over radio is pretty amazing compared to the early days of packet and uh, you know even 300 baud modems. Uh, you know this is quite a bit faster than that, 25,000. We started in the early days at 300, then we went to 1,200, then 2,800 was wow, you know? And then 56K was like, 56K dial-up, which was basically twice as fast as this, and you were, you know, using it to browse the web. <laughs> Just crazy. First radio is a Kenwood TS2000 uh, using a signal link black transformer. And the second radio is a little FT8 or FT818 yeah, using a signal link red transformer. So we're proving here that the red transformer signal links can still do VARA FM wide. Despite what the pundits say. Actually, I've got this one set uh, on low power mode. I don't know if you can see there. So that's like half watt mode. And then the Kenwood's on five watts. And the Kenwood antenna's actually outside. So anybody out in the real world who wants to capture my uh, image being sent is welcome to do that. Windlink is not encrypted. As you know, amateur radio operators in the United States are not allowed to encrypt any data sent over the airwaves. So anybody with this software could capture my image. Although I don't think it's easy to hijack a Windlink session and capture somebody else's image. It would take some the advanced technological skill to do that. All right, we're almost there. Let's see. We are almost there. Almost five minutes, it looks like. 
That seems slow, but for the size of the file that I sent, <coughs> one megabyte image. It's actually pretty impressive. All right, almost there. Still holding me at speed. Speed level 13, 25 to 10. There we go, it took six minutes and 21 seconds to complete. If we go over here, and we open the file, a few attachments. Notice how when it was, it was actually 930 kilobytes. You notice how they, it, it was marked red. Warning, this will take too long. And there you go. I sent a picture of my Kenwood TS830 over the air from one machine to another. And that's bar FM wide for you. Pretty darn impressive. Take care out there in Radioland. KCA's ZKI.